Welcome all product managers to come to our Changzhou factory to understand and learn about our automatic total station, robotic total station. Compared with the traditional total station, we have an additional motor drive system and our CCD imaging system so we can realize our automatic sighting and lock the prism to complete our side angle and side distance function. No wonder in this case, robotic total station can replace manual labor and perform automatic search, tracking and identification. The ATR function is the basis of all automated measurement applications. With it, the measurement robot can automatically aim at the target with in a test range of 600 meters and perform real-time tracking. Next, I will give you a simple demonstration of the automatic tracking function. ATR function can accurately locate the target to obtain angle, distance, three-dimensional coordinates and image information. In addition, it also has a super search function with a vertical search range of 20 degrees and a horizontal search range of 360 degrees. No matter day or night in tunnels or bridges, we can quickly and automatically search and aim at the target. We now come to the production line of robotic total station. Every instrument here is basically given different job responsibilities. Responsibilities. This set of equipment is our vertical holding machine. This machine can enable our shafting accuracy to reach 0.5 mm, 0.5. What is the concept of mm? That's 0.0005 mm. So in this way, it ensures the side angle accuracy. This process in the shaft process can fully meet our requirements so we can launch our zero and a half second and then make our one second so stable, let alone two seconds. The NS10 robotic total station uses a high precision axis system and a high speed and high resolution angle measurement system. These require precise processing and strict quality control to be achieved. The NS10 has an accuracy of 0.5 seconds or one second. The angle measurement accuracy and distance measurement accuracy are 1 plus 1 ppm. You can see that it has a six inch large touch screen, which is very comfortable to use. Moreover, it uses the Android 9.0 operating system. The overall response is very sensitive and the touch is very good. What are the communication methods of your robotic total station? In addition to the conventional 232 of the total station, as well as UDIS communication, wireless communication such as 4G network and Wi-Fi are not a problem, which is convenient for connecting to various terminal applications. Are there any specific application cases you can show me? Of course there are. Please continue to pay attention to my videos. The next video will bring you the operation process of robotic total station in foundation pit monitoring and dam monitoring. So how much do you know about this video?